the devastation far exceeds what I expected. Those are the words of the governor of Tocopilla, the hardest hit city in northern Chile, where the main hospital has collapsed. According to Edgardo Solis, about 40% of the houses have structural damage and help is on its way to assist the many families that are left homeless. Too fearful of the aftershocks and the falling walls, Two people are reported dead, over 100 are injured, but the toll is rising and dozens of workers that we reported trapped in a tunnel north of the city of Tocopilla were able to evacuate the site of repairs unharmed. Good news on that front. Helicopters will be assisting over 50 other persons isolated in the surroundings as the roads have also collapsed. We still don't know the true figures behind this earthquake. Local authorities are striving to reach the more remote indigenous and rural areas in Chile's desert north. Four members of the cabinet will be heading to the sites of destruction. The president, Michel Bachelet, will be joining them tomorrow to assess the situation on the ground. Antofagasta and Calama, the other two cities struck by the earthquake shortly after noontime, are the world's top producers of copper. We know of no casualties in the mining sector. Production has stabilized and the companies are working with emergency power supplies as much of northern Chile is engulfed by one of its darkest nights yet in a state of blackout and growing unease. Now, emergency crews are rushing to the scene to, to help victims, also to assess the situation. Are they also on alert for possible landslides and even aftershocks? Indeed, they are. This is rugged, treacherous uh, terrain, uh, difficult uh, places to have access to. So I think we'll have a better picture of uh, the earthquake's toll in about four to six hours more. Also, this was a major earthquake, a major 7.7 .7 magnitude earthquake. It caused widespread infrastructure damage, and yet what we're hearing now, only two people have been killed as a result of the earthquake. Why is that? Could it be that the people there in, in Chile are well versed in terms of how to deal with an earthquake? Well, we're culturally prone, I think, for earthquakes because we are in one of the areas that is uh, hit um, uh, quite often uh, by these uh, great uh, these great quakes. Um, uh, on the year 2005, we already had in this area uh, an earthquake, and uh, as you well point out, uh, many of the houses and buildings have not collapsed on this occasion because prior in 2005 they already did, and um, I do believe that the government has uh, has fiscalized and has uh, kept a, a, a more a greater control on um, on the building sites um, built uh, since then.